the rosy maple moth, a distinctly colored but well camouflaged fuzzy girl. Let's critique this freak. Dryocampha rubicunda, or to the common scum, the rosy maple moth, is a moth native to North America and hangs around really southeastern Canada and pretty much the whole right half of the U.S. She really loves maple trees, like red maples, sugar maples, silver maples, box elder maples, but will settle for an oak. Before Miss Rosie takes on her full adult beauty, like the rest of us, she must go through an ugly phase. Okay, maybe not ugly, but certainly different. The caterpillar form is called the green-striped maple worm, which is dumb since it's literally the same animal, or you could be straightforward and just call it the rosy maple moth caterpillar. Anyway, let me break this down. It's a warm midsummer evening. You're feeling frisky. You release some pheromones, and by nighttime, you're pregnant. You're a moth. Okay, sorry. Rosy maple moths do mate at night, and depending on where they live, they can breed from early summer to late fall. Females lay their eggies on the underside of leaves on the host tree, and about after two weeks, little caterpillars come squirming out and just go to town on the leaves of the tree they're in. When they are young and friendly, caterpillars will feed in big groups, but as they age and become grumpy, they feed alone until they just eat so much they need a nap and form a cocoon. Rosy maple moss can overwinter and the caterpillars will just wriggle their way down the tree, go into the soil and form a cocoon there. And when the time feels right, out crawls gorgeous Miss Rosie. And Miss Rosie does not eat as an adult. The rosy moss shows tons of variation in color. It can range from bright yellow to cream or almost white to super, super light pink to almost a dark purple. So how did she blend in on a tree? Fruit. The rosy maple moth looks an awful lot like maple tree fruit, which also so happens to be the type of tree they live in. And maples tend to fruit around the same time when the rosy moth adults would be doing their thing. So, it's just one big coincidence, or as most people call it, evolution. Today's creature, the rosy maple moth, gets a solid 8 out of 10, putting it just behind the orchid mantis. She's so pretty and fuzzy and harmless, and I would totally have one as a pet if I were the type of person to have insects as a pet. Imagine you woke up starving, ate so hardcore you had to sleep for months, and then woke up as a supermodel. That is not a bad life cycle if you ask me. See you later, stinkies.